Hello, mate. Hello, Peter. Hello. How are you? Just fine. How are you? I'm not too bad, actually. Thank you very much. Okay. What can we expect uh, here in Athens in three weeks, uh, Peter? Um, it, well, quite oddly, the first one of the first places I DJ'd was in Athens hmm? six years ago. Yeah, <laughs> six years, huh? And I hate to say it, but I've not changed much. <laughs> um, I just play music from 1977 to the present day. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes my fancy, really. Okay. Peter, are you working on a new project uh, with a Freebase this time, I think? Yeah, Freebase, yeah. funnily enough, will be uh, available on the Hacienda website. Mm -hmm. www.fact51hacienda.com um, tomorrow. The EP at last, after five years of waiting, I'm delighted. All right. I just read the new Uncut uh, magazine. There are some great stories about the legendary album. I'm talking about Closure, of course. It's my number. Oh, right. The en yeah, the enemy thing, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell us some of your memories, maybe? Your point of view after so many years, you know? Uh, it's a very interesting period because um, this year is 30 years mm -hmm. since Ian died. Yeah. And um, it's, it's quite poignant, really. Um, you know, the passage of time hasn't made it any easier, to say the least. So uh, it, I'm not exactly looking forward to it, but it's a wonderful celebration, I think, of, of his life. Yeah. Vinnie Rayleigh just finished a record about uh, Tony Wilson, as you know, I'm sure. What do you think about uh, Tony looking back, uh, Peter? No, I mean, Tony was a very complex character, but um, I did count him as a, a, a very good friend mm -hmm. and also a very good mentor in, in the way that he looked after you and he nurtured you. And he was very much... Uh, a catalyst, I found, uh, both musically and personally, mm -hmm. and very much an inspi inspiration, of which, course. you know, is quite rare. You don't really find people that are, um, are so catalytic yeah. and inspiring in equal measures. It, it's quite, an, that those people are very rare, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, you know, it, it's, it's that not having him around now is it's still a little, um, and it's not a nice position to be in, shall we say. Yeah. You're so right. And what about uh, Manchester nowadays? Is there a scene or something interesting Manchester's around? Manchester's yeah? good. Manchester's still very good. I'm, I'm right in the middle of Manchester now. I've just been to my new club, uh, the factory, doing some interviews. And uh, no, it's good. It's all happy. It feels good for me. Mm -hmm. And the new club, Fact 251, the factory, has been very well received. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I always have faith in the people of Manchester. <laughs> and, and very luckily, they've, they've proved that that faith is justified. Yeah, there's a great transition from uh, mm. Bascock's uh, well, Joy I Division. Mean, yeah, yeah. The, the interesting thing was after doing the book, How Not to Run a Club, mm -hmm. um, then to get offered the opportunity to run a club again was uh, a really weird moment, very ironic. <laughs> but um, because of the person that I, I'm involved with, my partner in the club, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he's a very, very good businessman. And he's also one of those people that I've worked with as a DJ over the past six years. So I've got to know him rather well. Mm -hmm. And it's made me feel that now, you know, you're in a position to hopefully not make the mistakes that you did. <laughs> and also, you know, to be able to reap the rewards for your efforts, really. Of course. All right, Peter, and what about uh, John Peel, looking back? John Peel, my God, you are going through the names today. Well, John <laughs> Peel was one of those wonderful people where, I suppose he was like the Simon Cowell of his day, in that uh, if you made it on the John Peel show, you think you'd made it, you know, and yeah. it was one of our ambitions as a group when we formed, <laughs> was to have our music played by John Peel. Mm. And, and that happened, and John Peel became a great champion for Joy Division and New Order. And that was a wonderful compliment to you because you, you actually um, respected his um, taste so much. Mm -hmm. So now, I mean, there's, there's been a few occasions. Uh, John Peel was one of those great people who had a wonderful passion and a love for music. And as we said before, with, with the likes of Tony Wilson, you know, those yeah. people are few and far between and need to be treasured. Mm. And it's quite odd, really. And I don't know whether it's the age I'm at that you can't see those people have been replaced. Mm -hmm. Which is sad. Speaking of uh, New Order, Peter, is there a chance maybe for a reunion or something in the future? Uh, not, not this week. <laughs> maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, You're welcome, Peter. Mate. See Thank you in Athens. Come